Yep. No. Jesus coming back soon. Jesus coming back soon. Jesus coming back soon. Jesus coming back soon. It's about God power. It's about God power. It's about God power. It's about God power. Jesus coming back soon. It's about God power. Jesus coming back soon. Jesus coming back soon. It's about God power. It's about God power. It's about God. It's about God power. It's about God. It's about God power. It's about God. Tune in every day. Every day, come to the 5 a.m. prayer. Be there every day. The Nicene Creed. Let's let's recite this now. Everybody, recite this after me. Um, I believe in one God, the Father Almighty, Maker of heaven and earth, and of all things visible and invisible. And one Lord Jesus Christ, the only begotten Son of God, begotten of the Father before all worlds, God of God, light of light, very God of very God, begotten, not made, being of one substance with the Father, by whom all things were made, who for us men and for our salvation came down from heaven and was incarnate by the Holy Ghost of the Virgin Mary and was made man and was crucified also for us under Pontius Pilate. He suffered and was buried. And on the third day he rose again according to the scriptures and ascended into heaven and sitteth on the right hand of the Father, and he shall come again with glory to judge the quick and the dead, whose kingdom shall have no end. And I believe in the Holy Ghost, the Lord and giver of life, who proceeded from the Father and the Son, who with the Father and the Son together is worshiped and glorified who spake by the prophets. And I believe in the one holy Catholic and apostolic church. I acknowledge one baptism, brought one baptism for the remission of sins. And I look for the resurrection of the dead and the life of the world to come. Amen. Now see creed. We just did the Nicene Creed. <laughs> All right, so we're we're back in the small catechism, and um, I think I want to do the sacraments of baptism. What is baptism? Answer. Baptism is not simply water only, but is the water comprehended in God's command and connected with God's word, which is that word of God. Answer, Christ, our Lord, says in the last chapter of Matthew, Go ye into all the world and teach all nations, baptizing them in the name of the Father and of the Son and of the Holy Ghost. What does baptism give or profit? Answer, it works forgiveness of sins, delivers from death and the devil, and gives eternal salvation to all who believe this as the words and promises of God declare. Which are such words and promises of God? Answer, Christ our Lord says in the last chapter of Mark, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved, but he that believeth not shall be damned. How can water do such great things? Answer, 
It is not the water indeed that does them, but the word of God, which is in and with the water and faith, which trust such word of God in the water. For without the word of God, the water is simple water and no baptism. But the word of God is, it is a baptism that is gracious water of life and a washing of the regeneration of the Holy Ghost. As St. Paul says in Titus chapter 3, by the washing of the regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost, which he shed on us abundantly through Jesus Christ, our Savior, that being justified by his grace, we shall be made heirs according to the hope of eternal life this is a faithful saying. What does such baptizing with water signify? Answer. It signifies that the old Adam in us should by daily contrition and repentance be drowned and die with all sins and evil lusts. And again, a new man daily come forth and arise who shall live before God in righteousness and purity forever. Where is this written? Answer. St. Paul says, Romans chapter 6, we are buried with Christ by baptism into death, that like as he was raised up from the dead by the glory of the Father, even so we also should walk in the newness of life. Let's pray. I am troubled, Lord, at times. I can't think of nothing but what troubles me. I know that I'm a sinner and do not deserve your blessings. But you, O oh Lord, are merciful and gracious. You have given your son that I might have forgiveness and hope. I pray that you would remove this anxiety from my heart. I trust in you. You alone are my God and Savior and my friend. In Jesus' name, amen.